Stop making these mistakes with women if you want to stay ahead of the game in 2024. Hey there, welcome back to Stoic Wisdom Hub. Today, we're diving into an essential discussion about navigating modern relationships. In a world where understanding, respect, and equality are paramount, it's crucial to explore the behaviors that can strengthen connections. We're focusing on nine key actions that savvy individuals should steer clear of when interacting with women in 2024. So, whether you're looking to enhance your communication skills or foster healthier partnerships, stick around as we delve into this insightful journey. First and foremost, smart men should never disrespect a woman's boundaries. Imagine a scenario where respect becomes the cornerstone of every interaction, where understanding and honoring boundaries isn't just a social courtesy, but a profound expression of empathy and equality. In a world where intelligence is celebrated, true wisdom lies not just in intellect, but in understanding the nuances of human connection. It's recognizing that every individual, regardless of gender, possesses autonomy over their body and their choices. Respecting a woman's boundaries isn't merely a matter of politeness, it's a fundamental acknowledgement of her agency and personhood. It's an affirmation that her comfort, her desires, and her consent are not negotiable. Consider the beauty of consent, a concept that transcends mere legality and enters the realm of profound mutual understanding. It's the recognition that each person has the right to define their own experiences, to navigate intimacy on their own terms, and to be an active participant in every interaction. Imagine the empowerment that blooms when women are met with respect and understanding, when their voices are heard, and when their boundaries are honored without question. It's not just about avoiding harm, it's about creating spaces where trust can flourish, where relationships can thrive authentically. In this narrative, smart men aren't just those who excel in academia or career, they're individuals who understand the intricate dance of human relationships. They're the ones who recognize that strength lies not in dominance but in vulnerability, not in asserting control, but in relinquishing it to honor another's autonomy. Ultimately, the call to respect a woman's boundaries isn't a demand, it's an invitation to participate in a more enlightened way of relating to one another. It's an opportunity to transcend outdated notions of gender dynamics and embrace a paradigm where empathy, consent, and mutual respect are the guiding principles of every interaction. So, let us champion this ethos, where intelligence is measured not just by IQ, but by emotional intelligence, where true wisdom is found in the ability to empathize with and honor the humanity of others. In doing so, we not only uplift women, but also enrich the fabric of our society with a culture of respect, understanding, and authentic connection. Secondly, smart men should avoid being emotionally unavailable. Imagine intelligence as a multifaceted gemstone, gleaming with brilliance and complexity. Yet, like any gem, it requires the right setting to truly shine. In the realm of relationships, emotional availability is that setting that provides the stability and warmth necessary for intellectual prowess to flourish. Picture this. A smart, accomplished man navigating the labyrinth of life with analytical precision and strategic finesse. Yet, despite his intellectual acumen, he finds himself stumbling in matters of the heart, unable to connect on a deeper, emotional level. Here lies the paradox a mind sharp as a blade, yet unable to cut through the barriers of emotional distance. Why is emotional availability crucial for the intellectually astute? Firstly, because intelligence, though formidable, is incomplete without emotional intelligence the ability to understand and manage one's own emotions, as well as those of others. In relationships, this translates to being attuned to your partner's needs, empathizing with their experiences, and expressing your own feelings authentically. Consider the analogy of a symphony. Intellect may compose the notes, but emotional availability conducts the melody, infusing it with depth and resonance. Without this emotional harmony, even the most brilliant compositions fall flat, lacking the soul-stirring power that ignites hearts and minds alike. Moreover, emotional availability fosters trust and intimacy the bedrock of any successful relationship. When a man is open and honest about his feelings, it creates a safe space for his partner to reciprocate, fostering a bond built on mutual respect and understanding. In this sanctuary of emotional connection, intellectual discourse flourishes organically, enriched by the fertile soil of shared vulnerability. But how does one cultivate emotional availability? It begins with self-awareness the willingness to confront and explore one's own emotions with courage and compassion. This introspective journey lays the foundation for authentic communication, enabling smart men to bridge the gap between intellect and emotion, with grace and authenticity. In conclusion, emotional availability is not a weakness, but a strength and essential facet of the multifaceted brilliance that defines smart men. 
By embracing this aspect of themselves and fostering emotional connection with their partners, they not only enrich their relationships, but also elevate their own intellectual journey, unlocking the true potential of their minds and hearts in harmony. Thirdly, smart men should not play mind games with women. Imagine a scenario where two individuals, let's call them Alex and Taylor, are getting to know each other. Alex, being a smart and perceptive individual, understands the value of honesty and sincerity in building meaningful connections. Instead of resorting to mind games or manipulation tactics, Alex chooses to communicate openly and transparently with Taylor. Here's why this approach is not only commendable but also essential. Authenticity breeds trust. When Alex chooses to be genuine about his intentions, he sets the foundation for trust to flourish between him and Taylor. Trust is the cornerstone of any healthy relationship, be it romantic or otherwise. By being transparent, Alex shows that he respects Taylor enough to be upfront about his feelings and desires. Clear communication fosters understanding. Mind games often involve subtle hints, mixed signals, and ambiguous behavior, which can lead to confusion and misunderstandings. By opting for transparent communication, Alex ensures that there's no room for misinterpretation. He articulates his thoughts, feelings, and expectations clearly, allowing Taylor to understand where he stands. Respect for the other person's emotions. Playing mind games with someone's emotions can be hurtful and manipulative. Smart men recognize the importance of respecting their partner's feelings and emotional well-being. By avoiding mind games, Alex demonstrates empathy and consideration for Taylor's emotions, fostering a healthier dynamic between them. Building a genuine connection. Ultimately, the goal of any relationship is to build a genuine connection based on mutual respect, understanding, and affection. Mind games might create temporary excitement or intrigue, but they rarely lead to deep, meaningful connections. By choosing transparency over manipulation, Alex paves the way for a relationship grounded in authenticity and sincerity. In essence, smart men understand that true strength lies in vulnerability and honesty. By embracing transparency in their interactions with women, they not only cultivate healthier relationships, but also set a positive example for others to follow. So, let's encourage more individuals to choose sincerity over manipulation and build relationships that are built to last. Next, smart men should avoid being controlling or possessive. In the intricate dance of love and partnership, the steps taken by smart men should tread lightly upon the delicate balance of trust and respect. As pillars of a healthy relationship, these virtues form the bedrock upon which love flourishes and souls intertwine. Imagine a garden where trust is the fertile soil, nurturing the seeds of intimacy and understanding. Just as a gardener tends to his blooms with gentle care, so too must a wise man nurture the trust within his relationship. Trust, once shattered, is akin to a fragile vase, difficult to mend and never quite the same again. But trust alone is not enough to sustain the magnificent edifice of love. Respect, like the sturdy branches of a mighty oak, provides the framework upon which trust can thrive. It is the recognition of each other's autonomy, the acknowledgement of boundaries, and the celebration of individuality within the sacred union of two souls. Yet, in the labyrinth of human emotions, there lurks a perilous trap that threatens to ensnare even the most astute of minds. The siren call of control and possession. Like a shadow creeping across the sunlit meadow, possessiveness casts a pall over the vibrant tapestry of love, suffocating freedom and stunting growth. A smart man knows that love is not a cage to confine, but a soaring symphony of liberation. He understands that the true essence of love lies not in dominance, but in the exquisite harmony of mutual respect and unfettered trust. For in the embrace of freedom, love finds its wings to soar to unimaginable heights, unfettered by the chains of possession. So let us raise our glasses to the wise men who understand that the truest form of love is found in the gentle embrace of trust and respect. May they continue to navigate the labyrinth of love with grace and wisdom, guiding their hearts towards the shores of everlasting happiness. Fifth, smart men should not ignore a woman's feelings or dismiss her emotions. Firstly, emotions are the vibrant colors that paint the canvas of human experience. By disregarding a woman's feelings, we risk dimming those hues, losing out on the richness they bring to our interactions. Imagine a world without the warmth of empathy or the spark of understanding, it would be a monochrome existence indeed. Secondly, women, like all individuals, possess a unique emotional landscape shaped by their experiences, perspectives, and innate nature. By dismissing their emotions, we overlook a valuable opportunity to understand them on a deeper level. Each emotion is a beacon guiding us to the core of their being, offering insights into their joys, fears, and aspirations. Thirdly, listening to a woman's feelings isn't merely an act of courtesy, it's an act of empowerment. 
when we validate her experiences, we affirm her autonomy, agency, and significance in the relationship. By creating a safe space for her emotions to be heard and respected, we foster a sense of trust and mutual understanding that forms the bedrock of any healthy connection. Furthermore, acknowledging a woman's feelings isn't synonymous with agreeing with them. It's about acknowledging their validity and honoring her right to feel them. Even in moments of disagreement, listening with an open heart cultivates a culture of respect and openness, fostering constructive dialogue and deeper emotional intimacy. Moreover, recognizing and validating a woman's emotions strengthens the bond between partners. When she feels seen, heard, and understood, the connection between both individuals deepens, creating a sense of emotional security and closeness that transcends words. Ultimately, embracing a woman's feelings is an act of love and affirmation of her humanity, dignity, and worth. It's a testament to our commitment to building relationships rooted in empathy, compassion, and mutual respect. So, let's not only listen but actively engage with the symphony of emotions that enriches our lives and relationships, celebrating the beauty of each note and the harmony they create together. Sixth, smart men should avoid being dismissive or condescending towards women. Firstly, it's essential to recognize that intelligence and wisdom are not solely defined by one's gender. Both men and women possess unique insights, perspectives, and talents. Dismissing or being condescending towards women based on gender undermines the diversity of thought and experience that is necessary for innovation and progress in any sphere of life. Moreover, fostering an environment of mutual respect is fundamental to healthy relationships and societal cohesion. When individuals, regardless of gender, feel respected and valued, they are more likely to contribute their best ideas, collaborate effectively, and feel empowered to pursue their goals. Conversely, when someone feels belittled or marginalized, it can stifle their confidence and hinder their ability to fully engage and participate. Furthermore, treating women with respect isn't just a matter of moral decency, it's also a strategic advantage. In professional settings, research consistently shows that diverse teams outperform homogenous ones. By embracing and respecting the contributions of women, smart men can tap into a broader range of perspectives, problem-solving approaches, and creative solutions, ultimately driving greater innovation and success. Additionally, displaying respect towards women sets a positive example for others, particularly younger generations. Children and adolescents learn social norms and behaviors by observing the adults around them. By modeling respectful behavior towards women, smart men can help shape a culture of equality and inclusivity for future generations, where everyone is valued for their abilities and contributions, rather than their gender. In summary, avoiding dismissiveness or condescension towards women and treating them with the respect they deserve isn't just a matter of politeness, it's a fundamental aspect of building a more equitable, innovative, and harmonious society. By embracing diversity, fostering mutual respect, and valuing the contributions of all individuals, regardless of gender, we can create a world where everyone has the opportunity to thrive and succeed. Seventh, smart men should not shy away from vulnerability. In the tapestry of masculinity, the threat of vulnerability weaves a crucial and often overlooked pattern. As the seventh note in the symphony of self-awareness, embracing vulnerability is not a sign of weakness, but a testament to strength and wisdom. Picture this. A man standing tall, not just in stature but in the courage to bear his soul. In a world where emotional armor is often donned as a shield, he chooses authenticity as his armor, knowing that true connection lies not in walls, but in vulnerability. To be smart is to recognize the power in vulnerability, understanding that it takes profound intelligence to unravel the layers of one's own emotions. It's about realizing that vulnerability is not a flaw to be concealed, but a beacon guiding us towards deeper understanding and empathy. Imagine a conversation illuminated by the flicker of vulnerability, where honesty dances freely between hearts. In that space, emotions are not burdens but bridges, connecting individuals in a tapestry of shared experiences and mutual understanding. Moreover, embracing vulnerability is an act of liberation. It liberates us from the shackles of societal expectations, freeing us to be our authentic selves without fear of judgment or ridicule. It allows us to cultivate genuine connections built on trust, empathy, and compassion. So, let us not shy away from vulnerability, but embrace it as an integral part of our journey toward self-discovery and growth. For in the rawness of our emotions lies the true essence of our humanity, and in the courage to be vulnerable, we find the strength to truly connect with others and with ourselves. 8. Smart men should avoid toxic masculinity. Picture this. A man of intellect, wit, and charm, navigating the complex landscape of modern masculinity with finesse. 
In the realm of intelligence, it's not just about IQ, it's about emotional intelligence, too. This enlightened individual recognizes that toxic masculinity or rigid adherence to traditional masculine norms that can be harmful to both men and women has no place in a world striving for equality and understanding. At the heart of this ethos lies the acknowledgement that true strength lies not in domination or suppression, but in empathy, compassion, and sensitivity. Smart men understand that these qualities are not signs of weakness, but rather manifestations of profound strength and wisdom. Empathy is the cornerstone of meaningful human connection. It's the ability to step into another person's shoes and understand their experiences, feelings, and perspectives. For men, practicing empathy means actively listening to women, validating their experiences, and supporting their aspirations without imposing preconceived notions of what they should or shouldn't be. Compassion follows naturally from empathy it's the impulse to alleviate suffering and promote well-being. Smart men recognize the systemic injustices and inequalities that women often face and are committed to being allies in the fight for gender equality. They use their privilege to amplify marginalized voices, challenge oppressive structures, and advocate for inclusive policies and practices. Sensitivity is the art of tuning into subtle nuances, emotions, and cues. It's about being attuned to the needs and boundaries of others and responding with care and respect. In their interactions with women, smart men prioritize consent, communication, and mutual understanding. They recognize that every person is unique and deserving of dignity and consideration. By rejecting toxic masculinity and embracing empathy, compassion, and sensitivity, smart men not only enrich their own lives, but also contribute to creating a more just and equitable society. They serve as beacons of hope and progress, inspiring others to follow suit and redefine masculinity in more inclusive and compassionate terms. In essence, being smart isn't just about intelligence it's about wisdom, empathy, and integrity. It's about recognizing the power of vulnerability, connection, and authentic expression. And in a world that often values bravado over authenticity, smart men have the courage to challenge the status quo and lead by example, showing that true strength lies in embracing our shared humanity. How does that resonate with you? And finally, smart men should never resort to gaslighting or manipulation. In the intricate dance of human connections, the role of honesty and integrity cannot be overstated. It's the bedrock upon which trust is built, the adhesive that binds hearts and minds in meaningful relationships. Smart men understand this implicitly, recognizing that resorting to gaslighting or manipulation is not just a betrayal of trust, but a diminishment of their own character. Gaslighting, that insidious act of distorting reality to gain power over another, is a weapon of the weak, a tool of the insecure. It erodes the very fabric of trust, leaving behind a landscape of doubt and confusion. Smart men know that true strength lies in vulnerability, in the courage to be authentic and transparent in their interactions. Moreover, manipulation is the antithesis of genuine connection. It's a shallow substitute for meaningful communication, a shortcut that ultimately leads nowhere. Smart men eschew such tactics, understanding that the richness of a relationship lies in mutual respect and understanding. Instead, they choose the path of integrity, embracing honesty as both a shield and a beacon. They speak their truth with clarity and compassion, knowing that it's the cornerstone of genuine connection. In doing so, they not only honor themselves, but also those they hold dear. In the tapestry of relationships, honesty and integrity are the threads that weave a masterpiece. They are the hallmarks of a true gentleman, guiding his actions and illuminating his path. So let it be known. Smart men never resort to gaslighting or manipulation. For they understand that the true currency of love and respect is authenticity. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insightful content on relationships and personal growth. See you next time.